So now back in InDesign, rather than adding pages and populating them after this, what I have here is I have a separate part of the document with just a few different pages inside of it. So I'm going to go back to the cover that I created on the mobile device. I'm going to select everything just there and copy it. And then I'm going to move across into this document and I'm going to paste that down like so and then move it into position, which is perfect just there. Okay, so I've got a few things I'd like to do here. First of all, I want to add some animation to some of these things. So I'm going to select this tag at the top here. And I'm going to go to my animation panel. And I'll choose fly in from top for that. Now I'm just going to zoom down a little bit and turn on the proxy. That starts off the page, which is where I want it to start. And the other thing I want to change here is I don't want it to fade in. So I'll choose no fade there. Then after that, I'd like this logo to fade in. So I can do that just there. Now dealing with these three things here, I want to give three different views here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, first of all, is populate them with some content from my Creative Cloud libraries. So just double click here to select this frame. And I'm just going to place a linked copy in there. So what I'd like to do actually is to get these all to fill the frame proportionally. So I'm going to select all three of these, then right click them and choose my fitting options like so. And I'll set that to fill the frame proportionally, which it's doing just there. Which means if I now select the next one, I can right click there and choose place linked and it does that. And the same with this one here in which I'll try and choose uh, one of the earlier images actually I'll choose the one that is unretouched so there we go so now I've got those three things there so they're all different groups like so and I'll select the copy actually what I might need to do here just so you can see a difference is I'm just going to call these uh, item one and item two and finally of course you've probably noticed the emerging pattern just here item three perfect hit my escape key just to come out of that there like so so now I'm going to select these three things and I'm going to align them to each other so I'm going to align them stacked up like so in fact what I want to do is just send this one uh, backwards just there so I've got item one two and three I'm going to group those now uh, into a multi-state object so I go to my objects panel just here and then I'm going to create a new multi-state object. So you can see all of the different states are in there. Whichever one I click on is the one that the user sees by default. So I'm going to call this one uh, CTA block, so the call to action block. So now I'm going to make sure I've got all of those selected and bring those across like so. And it would be a good idea now for me to add some form of button so I can swap between these three. Well, again, Creative Cloud Libraries to the rescue. I've got this annotations set that I use just here. I'm making sure nothing is selected. I'm going to place a linked copy of that, like so. And then I'm just going to create two further duplicates. So I'm going to do that like so. Just one more from there. And then I'm going to place uh, linked annotations in each one of those things. Perfect. So that's got everything I need just there, those three things. So I'll drop those in this region just here. Perfect. And once I've done that, I'm going to highlight each one in turn and go to my buttons and forms panel. I'm going to add a go to state action. Now there are, there's my uh, multi-state action just there. I'll choose the state for that one. And I'll choose state two uh, for this one. So once this opens like so, state two. And then I'll do this one here, finally, like so, state three. Perfect. Now I can test out this particular spread. So I'm going to use my EPUB interactivity panel. And I'll play this layout. So the first thing that happens is that comes on, this fades in. And then I can start to cycle through these options like so. The only thing I do want to do here is change the timing between these two things. So I'm going to go into my timings panel 
and target the Montan with orange and just delay that by a couple of seconds. There we go. So quarter second increments. And I'm just going to just target that one more time and make sure that is exactly the way I want it to be. And so there's that delay. So two seconds before that fades in. So now this is ready to publish. I've got another multi-state object and some buttons on this page in a movie and then some other bits on here. So what I'm going to do now is go up to publish online and I've already typed this in earlier on. So this is the latest uh, sneak peek version actually is what it should say. Sneak peek version of Ascend magazine and I'm going to go through my advanced options here. So the cover thumbnail will be the first page and I'll leave these options as is. And so now this will start the upload process to imdd.com. You can see that's running in the background just there while I, we're talking. Uh, it tells you that, of course, that the upload speed may vary. When this is uploaded, I've got a few different ways that I can share this immediately. So if I wanted to, I could share this via a couple of my social media channels. I could share it via Facebook and Twitter directly from inside this dialogue. And if you think, if you were producing a communication, especially something like a brochure that had new product in it, you could even use just a segment of your brochure and publish this online to get some interest generated around that. I'm just going to copy the URL for this, but here are my two social sharing channels. And of course, I can share uh, via email as well. So I'll close this out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into a browser and I'm going to create a new window and paste down the link for this. And so this will open like so. There is no plug-in dependent technologies for this to run on. You can see everything there uh, running perfectly well, apart from my multi-state objects. So I've obviously uh, glitched there somewhere. But you can see I can zoom in if I want to. I actually use browser zoom just then, but I do have these zooming controls here to zoom in and zoom out. I can navigate pages by clicking just here. So if I wanted to go to this page and look at some different products or even this movie then I could do that but I've got all of these things available I can go full screen I can also revisit the share links from here if I needed to capture them again and I can even embed this in an iframe on my own website so there you can see a project that started with assets that were made on the desktop moving into the mobile and then adding some extra effects on the desktop products and publishing that online.